Right, I'm going to show you how to use a basic kit, press kit, to press one of these in, and it's the um, sus top suspension arm, this one, this bush. Uh, I've done this one last night, trial and error using different uh, collars, etc. And I thought in the end it ain't, it's not going to go, but it did in the end, so I'll show you. It might come in useful to someone. First of all, I mean that's how it looks, a new one, and it's got that um, sort of um, funny edge to it like that. Obviously that's got to go in there like that. I've painted that up, so with all this. So really I need to clean that up. And I thought last night, I thought if I'd have cleaned the other one up a little bit more, once in it's not going to go anywhere then it probably would have gone in a little bit easier so I'm using a knife here just to scrape back around there can you see the paint coming off as I said before it would have been probably easier the other side if I clean this right up like that and then afterwards I'm gonna go over with the sandpaper as well, make it really nice and smooth. I want it to go in as easy as possible, so I'm using a file as well and deburring anything. Because obviously, when I took the old one off, I heated it up to get that out and destroyed it. It was uh, no good, the joint anyway. I'm going to clean up around this edge as well, where the circlet goes a nice flush edge now the other side I've cleaned it up there look at that it's nice that should go in easier than that this time the other side I used normal grease this time I'm gonna try some copper grease all right so I'm gonna smear that all the way around there and hopefully that'll slide in nicely as opposed last night the other one wasn't too good at all got one of these cheap kits and as you can see some of them actually have bent there's just so much pressure that's from before and other times i've used it that's the kit there look and there it is there this is the best setup i found so that's going to go down below like that up the top that will obviously be in this suspension arm so I'll slide them over like that. I'm just showing you the setup because in case you've got the same kit. So that's pushed in. That goes in underneath. And that's from the top pushing down. And then this is, you know, and then obviously you tighten all this up, pressing it down. So there's the setup like that. That's a uh, 22 mil that socket on top. There it is, like that. That's how I've got it set up. Try and get it as straight as you can because then it go in evenly like that. And then obviously you want the big extension bar on that and then clockwise and just keep going down with it. Right, I've got it a certain amount of the way. I'm just going to show you the amount of pressure. This is meant to be perfect cylinder. You can see with the pressure I've been putting on that, it's ovaled it out. I know it's not the best quality stuff. That's started to bend as well. And some of these other bits, the only thing that hasn't is the, the clamp here. But what I found, right, it, it didn't seat properly to the back. Right, can you see that? Well, there was a gap which meant it wasn't even on top and it's very difficult to get it even unless you've got a professional tool so what i've done the back it was gappy and i thought well i don't know well, what am i going to use the other things are bending until they break so i've been using the bolster with the club hammer and that has worked so i just keep bashing it on the edge there like that okay it's damaged it slightly just scratched it there but eventually it has pushed it even on top so if you have the same problem as me I'm just showing you this 
because they're, they're really difficult to get in so it might help you or don't bother <laughs> last thing to put in is the sir clip as you can see it's quite even there now so uh, they are a bit it's a nightmare to get in to be honest with you it's a nightmare but yeah, you just got to open up the sir clip and put that on then it's job done clips in another little tip if you're struggling with a sir clip because the back's slightly more oval to the back of the sir clip just use a grinder and that'll uh, just take it down enough because these um say pattern things they're not always the same as a genuine one slightly out of fraction but i just took a little bit off the back and now that's firmly sitting in there it's all okay